uh, taking some time to take uh, conquer us uh, at uh, Metal News. Pleasure. We're thrilled to have the guitarist from uh, Cradle of Filth and uh, White Empress with us tonight. So uh, let's start off with the first question. Mm. Uh, your, your latest uh, album, The Manticore and Other Horrors, uh, who got the idea for the title? Uh, my singer, um, the, uh, the Cradle singer. He came up with the, um, the title for the album. Um, it's a bit really. He's, he just came up with the title. He tends to usually just come up with like the titles and he shares them around sometimes, but usually, you know, if somebody in the band's good at what they do, you might as well just let them get on with it. Yeah. There's no point like trying to throw a spanner in the works if, if it works. Yeah, of course. Uh, so we all agree that, that it's an awesome title. So it's, it's awesome. Uh, how do you uh, prepare yourself before going on stage? Um, it depends. It depends. I don't usually get dressed or changed ready for, for live um, until at least only about 20 minutes before going on stage. You know, um, some people in the band take like two or three hours, which I think is pointless personally, but <laughs> it's a complete waste of time. Um, but there's, uh, yeah, um, I don't know. It's, 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 sometimes I warm up, sometimes I don't. Depends if I've got interviews and stuff to do as well, you know, yeah, or if yeah. I've got other stuff I need to do before going on stage. I'll have to, during the day, I have to prioritise stuff that I need to do. You know, some days I just don't do bugger all and I play all day. You know, um, it just depends on what, what happens. I mean, we used to be absolutely inundated with um, with interviews and stuff during the day, but it's not so much like that anymore. Um, so we get a little bit of time to ourselves to warm up and play now, really. Okay, man. Uh, what is your favourite Cradle of Filth album? Uh, Dusk. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Dusk and Embrace, you know. Um, yeah. I, I, I have to be Dusk and Embrace and Manticore cool for me. Cool, man. Cool. Uh, what do you prefer to drink backstage, Easter? <laughs> water. Uh, water. <laughs> yeah, I do. Literally, before playing on stage, I don't drink anything, uh, whether it's with Cradle, whether it's with anyone else, or if I'm doing like session work, whichever, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I do, um, the only thing I'll just drink is water before going on stage. I won't touch coffee, tea, nothing like that. Because I have to play Stone Cold Sober. I can't have any any form of like mind altering or substances in my system at all. Cool. You know, to be able to perform properly and give people like value for money when they come and see us play or whatever, you know, you have to be on top form. There's nothing there's nothing so unprofessional as like being drunk on stage. No no man, that that's that's fucked. <laughs> that's fucked. So Especially what? when people play and come and see you, you know. Yeah, yeah. What about uh, after the show? Oh, after the show's different. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, no, after the show, yeah, beers and stuff. Yeah, it's good. Red wine, usually. Beers, beer and red wine is usually uh, a common floater backstage. Cool to know, cool to know. So, um, what are your uh, favourite cradle track to play live? Dusk. <laughs> Dusk, yeah. Yeah, uh, Dusk. Um, I don't know, I like Heaven Torn as well. Heaven Torn's a really good track to play live. You know, um, just anything off the Dusk album, really. You know, um, some of the stuff, I don't mind playing Cruelty Live. That's pretty good. I suspect the only track I do like off that album. But um, I don't know, like, it's anything off Dusk, really. It's uh, Funeral as well. Funeral Card Pope is a good one to play live. It's absolutely the favorite album, Dusk. <laughs> yeah, for, same for me. Cool. So um, you were endorsed by PRS Guitars and uh, got your own uh, SE signature guitar. Uh, yeah. How long did you take it to design it? You, you designed it, right? Yeah. 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 Um, I don't know. To be honest, the story behind that was that I was... Um, I, I bought a PRS, and just for shits and giggles, I took one of the guitars into Photoshop, which was on their website, and I designed it, changed the color in, and put the bats on the fretboard, etc., etc., and um, I only really done it just for like a laugh, and then I kind of sent it off to them. Didn't think they'd think anything of it. I never expected <laughs> to hear back from it. Sent it off to them, and they went nuts over it. Literally, about a few months later, I mean, my friend uh, Dominic Fairbanks, he um, he was a rep for um, PRS at the time, you know, and he pushed them to like look at it and take it seriously. And there was also a guy who was like a huge Cradle fan, actually working at PRS. And who like kind of pushed them in from internally as well. And then eventually they just saw it and went and did it. And and then now they tell me it's uh, one of it's the second best selling one they've ever made. Awesome, man. Awesome. 
It's, which is really good because it doesn't just appeal to metal kids. Which is, this is what I really wanted to try and get across. Yeah. You know, there's, there's, it doesn't appeal just to like fans of the band. I've got like I get messages quite frequently from like jazz players, from blues players, from people in pop bands and stuff. You know, I've seen videos of pop videos people playing my guitar, which is really really good because like it's it's a brilliant guitar, but it's a really good guitar thing for all styles. You know, it really is. Um, especially with the lessons I teach, um, I'm getting now. It sucks. I'm not just getting metal kids for lessons now, because I'm teaching like improvisation and like, quite a bit of yeah. stuff like that. And so I'm getting a lot of uh, people come on board um, who like the guitar but hate metal music. <laughs> you know. Well, it's a, it's a really good guitar I made there. So. Uh, oh, they've like, done a brilliant job. All yeah. I, to be honest, it's like. The credibility, the cred, all goes to PRS. It's all I did was just design the look of it. They actually marketed it, and they did. They did the whole lot. Do you know what I mean? So really, what about, it's, what about it, the what about the pig offs? Uh, did, did you uh, have anything okay, to say? Yeah, they, they, was, they, they, they told me what they wanted to do with it. You yeah. know, and because the, the first one, the first uh, PRS, it just got um, PRS own pickups in. Yeah. First edition one. But then a couple of editions later, they they start putting EMGs in there. They set up a they got an EMG deal with, with as well, so which is really cool, you know. But no, it's 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 great. It's just like I'm hoping there's a there's a white one coming out as well soon. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, let's take the next question. Uh, your first gig with Cradle. Can you remember how that was for you? Yeah, nerve wracking. It was. <laughs> uh, yeah, the first gig we supported Cannibal Corpse in London. And we we were made, we were like first first band on no second band well fuck, I can't remember the exact order, but we was we was like at, at the bottom you know and uh, yeah that was and Cannibal Corpse sold sold the London show out, and it was yeah it fucking yeah I remember it's just like, I couldn't keep off the toilet, <laughs> you know when you get that whole nerve racking feeling and stuff yeah. yeah it was it was really like the nerves are really bad, but it was a killer show though it was it was good fun. I remember distinctly we tried to steal the Cannibal Corpse's uh, uh, backstage passes, <laughs> but they, uh, yeah, they, they weren't giving that up. <laughs> Got them party crashes. <laughs> yeah, I know. God damn. Yeah, exactly. But no, it was fun though. It was, it, it's, 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 it was good. Cool guys to tour with, right? Yeah, well, we saw them recently on a, on a festival. Yeah. We didn't tour with them. This was just a one-off support show. Um, but yeah, we just recently done a festival and like they headlined one stage and then we headlined the other stage. Oh. It was in um, Indonesia. Jakarta, I think it was. Cool, mate. Uh, let's uh, take the next question. Uh, what bands are you listening to at the moment? <sighs> None, really, to be honest. Because at the moment, I'm, uh, I've got three albums on the go at the moment. Um, Empress. Yeah. Um, doing. I've got a... Uh, I've been asked to do uh, a project with... Another band, which I'm not going to say who it is. There's a couple of lead, and like, well, actually, no. There's possibly four albums on the go at the moment. I'm doing. Damn, yeah, man. That's yeah. a lot of work, man. <laughs> yeah, it's fun though. It's not really work if you enjoy writing, and if you, you know, and it's like, it's it's a great passion of mine is writing music. Yeah. You know, and so I'm not going to just sit here and not write an album. Do you know what I mean? I mean, like I said, I've got um, there's two other bands actually have asked me to do stuff. Um, so I'm going to do that, and also I'm doing a, an instrumental album as well for myself. So, uh, solo, solo album. Yeah, well, I hate the word solo album. It's not, <laughs> you know, that's so pretentious. No, I don't see it like that. I just want to do because I do like um, a lot of music-wise. I do a lot of uh, chill-out music as well, yeah. easy listening stuff. And recently, we've had that music we've had in uh, on TV shows over here in the states. You know, Sleepy Hollow and so forth. We've had over here music on it. So this is the reason why I'm writing this instrumental music as well to get it put onto more films and stuff. But yes, yeah, so I don't really listen to much bands because I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's every time I listen to someone, I don't want to be influenced by their playing. If that makes sense, I don't listen to because more and more I listen to music, the writing style tends to and start influenced by by what you listen to, and I don't want that, because I've managed to develop my own style. Yeah. And so you, you get kind of screwed with, with all the, the, the bands that you, if you listen to. Four albums you're working on right now, so, so that's... Yeah, they're all different. Well, 
and they're all, 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 all different yeah so that's that's a lot of to to manage uh, even for you so uh, no no totally but it's fun and nothing but luckily nothing's completely immediate you know it's it's, it's later on um there's what else what else have we got going on yeah that's a bit really apart from lessons as well but no music wise i don't i don't listen to anything i get a lot of influence from drums Awesome, mate. Uh, let's take the last question. Uh, anything you want to say to the fans before we end? Yeah, thanks, amazing for the support. It's like you guys are absolutely incredible, and, you know. And since we like, I've got my other stuff coming out. Everybody's been super enthusiastic for that as well, and it's just amazing. Um, I just can't thank you guys more, more for it. You know, it's I could sit here all day and just spiel how much how wonderful you lot are. <laughs> But we ain't got time for that. But no, seriously, um, you'll get you. You know, um, I'm going to post when um, stuff's ready to come out yeah. um, as much as possible. You know, I've got a website coming up for my guitar lessons um, and all music, everything musical and media I do as well. And yeah, I'll just keep you all posted. And thanks a million, seriously. Cool man, cool man. Uh, do you got any uh, release date on uh, the wider impress? Uh, this year. So I'm not going to put anybody's hopes up okay. this year. This year, cool yeah. man. It's going to happen this year because we start rehearsals next month. Awesome, awesome. So uh, we thanks Paul from Cradle uh, for having a spare uh, time to conduct this interview with uh, MetalNews.com, and uh, we only got one thing to do: sorry, brutal day. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> cool as fuck. See you, mate. <laughs>